Hi YouTube, the ninja again. This is a warning for major er, this is a warning for major earth changes to take place on June thirteenth. I don't know what exactly will happen, but I will show you why I think something will happen and I'm sure you will agree with me. Let's start off with Ellen and it seems the trajectory path has been changed and updated by JPL. So here's the latest. October twelfth will be the date that it is closest to us at 0 0.242 astronomical units which is translated to 22,495,324.8 miles. The tail of this comet is supposed to be around the area of 900,000 kilometers which is translated to 559,234.073 miles. The comet is supposedly around 4 kilometers in diameter uh, that's purely speculation by the way and I'm using this number four kilometers in diameter as a worst case scenario because that is uh, the biggest that I've heard that this comet could possibly be so uh, that translates to two and a half miles roughly in diameter this is one of the larger comets to make a near earth near earth approach uh, these are not stone written facts as I am sure they will change as the unknown comet begins to make its approach to Earth. But it looks as if Ellen won't be visible to the naked eye later this year as earlier predicted by astronomers and scientists. Hence, Ellen is becoming more and more harmless every day, but as always, that could change at any point. These are estimates and research studies I have made myself using my own knowledge. I have not been to school to be brainwashed. I'm merely going by the basics and common sense of studies, pretty much using math. Uh, the real hard part in doing this type of research is actually finding the information through a reliable source. Also, on June 13th, um, there will be an alignment with Earth, the Sun, and Mercury creating a gravitational resonance. I will show you more on that and why this won't be in an ordinary alignment to look forward to. But for now, the real comet we have to worry about is 2005 YU55. But before we get into that comet, I want to go ahead and show you uh, the alignment for June 13th. And then I'm going to show you the comets that we will have, uh, the comets, the sizes, uh, the everything that you'll need to know on them for June 13th. I'm going to set this warning in advance for June 10th through June 15th let's say alright right here as you can see Earth and Mercury are close to this alignment which is like I said I want to go ahead and set it for June 10th through 15th uh, with a peak probably around June 11th 12th and 13th also you see if I can't find them real fast. This is a, another area of research I'm doing right now. Uh, let me pull up the other asteroids that we will have. Um, the names of the asteroids are right here. Here's the date. Here is the distance that they will be from the Earth. Here is one, two, note the date and distance and three okay now I believe this comet here is traveling around like this and this comet is traveling around like this and this comet is traveling around like this right here where this is at this comet's coming in this direction right here where those other two comets are coming in this direction, one there and one in the lower half. As you can see, the first one is to this side of the Earth, the second one is to the opposite side of the Earth, and the third one is going to make a pass possibly interfering or having an effect on one another, uh, these two comets or this comet. In other words, this comet here may hit one of these two comets or have an effect. So far with the math that I've done, it does not look like there will be any 
collisions so far with any orbital bodies in our solar system this year, but that could change. They may have an effect on one another. They may create gravitational resonance within one another. The sun may have an effect or hit them with a, with a flare that will knock its trajectory path off or into us or away from us. You never know about these things. So what I'm saying is so far, and as from what I've learned, this is um, something to be looking or to be worried about, but I mean, as far as uh, impacts or collisions with one another, you don't have to worry about that. I'm worried about them possibly having an effect on us as we are having an alignment on June 13th. Also, note this alignment uh, will possibly cause seismic activity of a class M6 or greater uh, all around the ring of fire. So if you live anywhere on the ring of fire, near the ring of fire, heed caution. Uh, to this warning, please get a go bag ready, a whistle, a survival kit, first aid, food, clothes, uh, a hazard uh, radio or weather radio, just some some type of uh, where you're where you'll know what's going on. Uh, you battery, you know, you know what all you'll need. Uh, make sure you have all that stuff ready. Uh, I live here in Oklahoma, and I'm gonna have a go bag and a survival kit ready here in the central states just because all right uh, also here's a comet 2005 YU 55 this is the comet I believe we need to be worried about right now this comet as far as I know is anywhere from 1.5 I think to 3.5 kilometers in diameter it is moving at a pretty high rate speed given uh, in comparison to the other uh, near-Earth objects uh, approaches that we have uh, right here it will be some 201,000 miles away from Earth and just so you know the moon I believe is 220,000 miles away from the Earth so November 9th 2011 is another date I'm going to give you that will be probably the most critical time of this year because of the simple fact that this uh, uh, comet that is so big is going to be said to be uh, passing between the earth and the, and the, and the moon uh, which brings me to this I want to show you this uh, of course all links will be in the bottom uh, in the description box I want to read this a uh, little bit of this off to you this is uh, the comet YU-55 uh, weighing 55 million tons will just miss Earth later this year. Uh, if it were to hit Earth, the asteroid named YU-55 would have an impact equivalent to 65,000 atom bombs and would leave a crater more than 6 miles wide and 2,000 feet deep. Passing by at a distance of just 201,000 miles, the asteroid would be the largest object ever to approach the Earth so close. I mean, if Elenin was to get anywhere close, just as close as this uh, comet is getting, then Elenin would be uh, the largest object ever to approach Earth so close. But, like I said, Comet Elenin is going to be 22 million miles away. This one's going to be, you know, 200,000 miles away. And uh, there's more information on this. I'll post the link at the bottom if you want to go read it. Uh, also, another date that I'm looking at is August 16th. Um, I have a couple of uh, large uh, near-Earth objects approaching us. Uh, so stay updated on that. I'll, as soon as I can, I'll bring you more updates on that. Just like I said, be very careful and cautious of uh, June 13th because we will have three asteroids uh, very close to us and we will be in an alignment with the Sun and Mercury, uh, which will heighten seismic activity for that day naturally all by itself. And then, of course, you have the uh, three comets doing their deal. And like I said, every one of them or at least a kilometer or greater in diameter. Uh, so I wanted to bring this update to you immediately. I just found this out, but I felt that it was important enough to tell you now. That way you have plenty of time to get ready, get a go bag, save up some money, get a survival kit built, get it, get everything ready. 
because I'm gonna tell you right now regardless of whether you do use it on June 13th I guarantee you're probably gonna be using it by the end of this year anyway that's all I've got for now uh, here goes a little bit more uh, I want to throw this in there if I'm wrong about Elenin it is because the info we are receiving is complete disinfo from NASA and the government which if the comet is in fact known in some higher class secret societies to surely hit the earth then there is no doubt in my mind that we will not know about it until it is too late or think about this the Elenin hype may have been created with a later past date to obscure the three comets possible soon conflict in June with Earth in which we would all be blindsided by this and would totally not expect it I'm gonna have my go bags ready like I said uh, and the reason for that if you live in Oklahoma if you don't know this our soul will liquefy in a matter of minutes to hours if Yellowstone was to erupt if the Madrid fault line was to go off okay uh, matter of fact these two stories may connect maybe June 13th is when the Madrid will go off I don't know just be safe and aware of your surroundings I love you all God bless and have a good day